Hi everyone, this is Chetan Nayak. In this video, we will take a look at building our own notification handler so that we can get notifications on our uh, Slack, Discord, Telegram or any similar other uh, service providers for your messages using the built-in functionality called as webhook within Brutretail. So in order to get this to work, we will first enable our webhook. We have to specify a port and a host over here. I'll specify HTTPS colon slash slash let's say my local system itself and you have an option as to what you want to forward in this case. The badges initial connection will send only a set of metadata whenever the payload checks in for the first time and the badges command output will find all the information that uh, your payload sends back after executing a command onto a specific server of your choice. I would usually use badges command output to forward my uh, webhook information to elk stack or something similar where I can perform any other analysis that I require. In my current example, I'll just select the badges initial connection because I just want a notification that a new payload has checked in. I will save it. Now in the ad hoc scripts directory, you have a file called as open SSL server.sh. Inside this script, uh, it specifies how you can start listening on a given port. I will start listening on my 800, sorry, 8080 port here. My key and my cert path here in this case. And now it has started listening on the port 80. If I quickly execute my payload here, we should get a notification that our payload has connected. And you can see that a copy of the metadata of the newly connected payload has been forwarded to our open SSL server, which is nothing but a very simple HTTP server. Now this whole output is in JSON, so you can extract whatever information that you require from this initial connection and forward it elsewhere. So in our current scenario, what we will be doing is to open this badger notifier.py script that we have. In this script, we have to specify a webhook URL, which we will generate in a few minutes. And this script basically listens on the port 8080 on 0000 in this case and it will extract the required JSON key and value pair from the JSON post request, craft a custom message here and forward that to your Slack webhook URL. I'll go to Slack, I'll right click my channels here, click on create a channel. Remember that you should have permission to create a channel. Don't do this in your work environment. You can use the uh, free version of the Slack to build your own workspace and do it. Uh, I'll name this channel as let's say Badger, let's say notifications. And uh, yeah, I think I already created this one, Badger notification, let's say handler, for example. And I'll specify, let's say, uh, test channel for handling Badger notifications and I will enable this. I'll skip adding anyone else. I'll create a new app. You can do that by going on to api.slack.com slash apps and I'll create one from scratch. I'll name it as just Badger. I'll select my workspace. You can navigate to the incoming webhooks option here and enable the webhook. You'll also have to add it to your own workspace. And you can select your badger notification handler and click on the allow option here. Now you should receive your webhook URL, which is what we will be pasting in our .py file here of Python. And you can test whether your uh, handler is working properly by copying this simple script, opening a terminal, running it and seeing whether that message gets posted. Perfect. So we will simply be using our notification handler that we have to forward this request. Now this Python script will craft our custom message, forward it to our Slack webhook URL, and that's all we need to do. So let's see how it looks like. I'll type Python3 Slack cert.pem uh, key.pem. And now let me execute two to three new uh, payloads here. One, two, three, four. We can see that we are receiving connections from our webhook that new payloads have checked in. And if we have received notification here, it means that it should have also forwarded that to our Slack. And you can see on our Slack, you have received the custom notification in this case. And this is a very simple example as to how you can build your own uh, custom notification handlers on Slack. 
We can similarly use the API calls from Discord or Telegram bots to build your own notification channels in those as well. So I'll be open sourcing this script that I have over here into my GitHub repository so you can download it from there and use it as and how you require. So that will be all for this video on building your own custom notification channels.